If you are watching this video, it's that you level up your skills in project management by integrating AI tools. This is a series in which we are going to handle risk management in projects. I will use as tool MS Project to show you examples. MS Project itself doesn't contain any part or any function that handles risk management. So I'm going to use ChatGPT, combine it with MS Project, and like that you will learn how I'm doing my risk management in my project. It's Kristen from Vision 6D and I'm really happy to share with you some of my knowledge. I also train and consult with companies. The first thing that I'm going to ask from ChatGPT is whether it can help me with risk management. When we ask something, this is what we call a prompt. The reply from ChatGPT is in that happy tone that, yes, of course, I can help you. The response is what we call a completion. In its completion, it's telling us all the process we have with risk management. He suggests us to work in several steps in an iterative process. The first step is to identify the risks and to evaluate their impact on the project. The best to do that is to have a brainstorming meeting with the stakeholders, the team members and SMEs, that is to say special matter experts. We will brainstorm the potential risks considering the scope, the planning, the schedule, resources, technology and all external factors. The second step is the risk assessment. We will look at the probability of occurrence of this risk on the project and its impact on the project. This assessment helps us to prioritize the risk we are going to treat and to be focused on the most important ones. The next step is to plan a response to the different risks. This response plan will address each identified risk and it will define specific actions as well as strategies. We will see that there are four different strategies. One is to mitigate, the second one is to avoid, there is a third one which is to transfer the risk and the last one is simply to accept the situation. We are now going to execute the, the risk response and after that we will monitor and follow our measures. Regularly through all the project life cycle we are going to review for each risk and assess its impact and consequences in order to see whether our measures or controls of the risk were appropriate or needs to be improved. Communication and documentation are key in risk management. So keep the people involved in the project like the stakeholders, the team members informed. Additionally, we should document all risks, identify all activities concerning the risk, assessment, response plans and updates. And don't forget that this documentation will serve for the next project as references. This project is the implementation of a CRM, Customer Relation Management System. It is there to centralize all the information from the moment there is a first contact with the prospect, going through the marketing, sales, up to delivery and support of the service or the goods. I described also to ChatGPT that the company for which I'm doing this project is 
NG30 LTD that I'm using MS Project as project management tool and the name of the project is Ciara. For the moment, all I ask from GPT in once I transferred this context is to tell me what's the tool I'm using and what's the name of the project. Looking at the completion from ChatGPT, we can just say that it confirms that it has understood my context. I have extracted from MS Project all the tasks and I copy pasted this in Excel. From there, I exported it to a CSV file. And it's this CSV file that I have opened under Notepad and I've added my questions that I want to transfer in the prompt. What I'm asking from ChatGPT is to understand the different tasks. I'm telling it that the first line are the headers of each column and then I ask it to restitute me the complete data in a table format. In that way, I'm checking that the AI understood the content of my project. So, now it's when we start really to work with ChatGPT on risk management. With all those data, the next prompt, I'm asking it to generate me the four common documents that we find in risk management. First of all, the risk register, the risk breakdown structure, the matrix where we see probability impact, and then the SWOT in a tabular format. Some comments now on the risk register. We see that uh, we have received eight different risks in the table format, and you see that each risk has been numbered. We have after that a risk description, a risk category. So if I take the first one, it says insufficient resources for the project execution which is quite a common situation in many projects. The risk category, you see it's resource, and the probability is high, and the impact or consequence on the project will be high too. After that, we have what we call the risk level, which is a combination of probability and impact. You see that it is high, and the risk strategy that should be here applied is really to reduce, to control, to mitigate this risk. If I take the second uh, risk, it's a lack of user adoption by the CRM system. This is all what is concerning change management. This is organizational and the probability is a bit lower than the previous one, is medium, but the impact, if it happens, is really high. Of course, if your users are not using or not happy in using the new system, well, you will have difficulties. It will also make you aware of the risk of data security, that is to say also cyber security of your system. One point that I still want to, to mention is the scope creep. The scope creep is when you have defined a certain scope, but you have stakeholders that want more than what was defined. And of course, the consequences of such behaviors are really dramatical for a project. 
So here you see that the probability is high, the impact is medium, the overall risk level is high. I let you consult the rest, the rest of the table and the other diagrams to, to see what ChatGPT generated according to the context of the project we described. So, communication in risk management is really something important and risk management is not something that you do alone. So there will be several meetings through all the life cycle of a project where you meet the stakeholders and the team members and SMEs. So what I did, I asked ChatGPT to propose me different meetings. And let's see what he proposed. So, the first meeting he suggested was during the initiation phase. A second meeting is to review the planning. At that moment, you can already consider the risks that you have in the project. Then after, we have ongoing reviews during the execution phase of the project. And the fourth type is when we have a milestone, when we've reached something, there can also be a risk review to assess whether the way we manage the risk is fine or not or can be improved. And finally, at the closing point, in the closing meeting, we review the way we were handling the risks in order to learn something and to improve for the next projects. Based on our planning, I've asked ChatGPT to plan those different meetings. And we see that once again, it was really happy to do this for me. After that, I asked it to add those meetings to the table which defines all the tasks we have in the project. And it was really happy to perform it. So we know that we have meetings, we know the content of those meetings. What's missing could be an email template that is prepared to be sent to the different people. So it's exactly this that I asked from ChatGPT. What do you think? Does this ease our communication work? We have now a risk assessment framework. ChatGPT did a first risk assessment for us. We have now a process. We have scheduled meetings. Now what we need to do is the risk assessment of the CRM project. And for this, we are going to use the AI to go further into the risk assessment. For you, it's an opportunity to learn. And in the next module, we are going to look at probability of risks, their impact, how to assess risks, and we are going to look at consequences. Consequences or impact can be on the schedule, can be on the cost, can be on the quality of a project. Till then, I wish you great experiments with AI in project management and specifically in risk management. See you for the next module. Bye-bye.